Okay, today we're going to be assembling a worm-driven gear. This is what it'll look like in the end. So, let's start at the very beginning with the parts and how to assemble. Okay, let's take a look at our materials list for making a worm gearbox. We need two number five stud axles. We need one number six stud axle. One number ten stud axle. We will also need eight yellow small pulleys, one worm gear, one 24 tooth spur gear, two 1 by 6 Technic beams, two Technic axles and pin connectors with two holes, and the final piece is a one Technic lift arm with two holes in a pin crank building. Let's take our number 10 axle and put one of the yellow pulleys at the end. Then we're going to take one of our axle and pin connectors and we're going to put it through the open hole like this so it'll spin. If we put it through the other end it'll be a snug fit and the axle won't spin. But if we put it through this end it will spin. Okay and then I'm going to take another yellow axle, another uh, pulley slide that in and secure this. I'm going to go ahead and take my worm gear, slide it on, then I'm going to take another yellow pulley, put it on, take the final Technic axle and pin connector, remember to put it through the round hole so it spins, okay? We want a spinning action, then we're going to put the final pulley on. Oops. There we go. Okay. Now we got it. So, this is where we're at so far. We've assembled this portion of it. Go ahead and take this and we're going to set it aside. Okay, let's start building the remaining portion. Take a 1x6 Technic beam, a number 5 stud axle, insert it in the farthest hole, use a yellow pulley, cap it. Then I'm going to set this down for a moment. I'm going to take a number 6 stud axle, insert it inside a 24 tooth gear. So it's like this. Okay, I'm going to come over here, insert that one in the center, center hole of my number six, so right here. I'm going to insert that in, okay, and I'm going to set that down for a second. All right, now let's use the two pieces that we've created so far. We're going to slide the axle hole. Notice how it's got the little crosshairs here. We're going to insert this over my axle. I've got to line it up. I'm going to slide this down so that it lines up and now you can see that my worm gear meets up with my spur gear. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is take my remaining number five stud axle going to slide it in the farthest hole. It needs to line up with the connector on the other side. I'm going to take a yellow pulley and we are going to cap it. Alright, so now in essence this is what it looks like on one side. Okay, here's the top view. What we need to do now is use our remaining 1x6 Technic beam. I'm going to slide this piece on, use my two remaining yellow pulleys to cap the ends. Okay, I can even out my beams here, my axle I mean. Okay, so everything is all nice. Now, let's use the crank and insert that in longer end of my axle, my black axle. And so now I have a way of turning and I can see how the worm gear will drive the spur. Good job! Now, see what you can create.